Aces and Eights prepare to face the wrath of the Icon Sting and Team TNA in Lethal Lockdown. The following contest scheduled for one fall is a Lethal Lockdown match. The winner will be determined by pinball or submission. Introducing first, representing Aces and Eights, Mr. Anderson. I'm always intrigued by the strategy of the teams and the team captains in terms of who they send out, especially early in this matchup, and then as the match progresses, the later that we get, who they send in the end of the you doesn't mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. It's we one of the most important strategic uh, aspects of this kind of match. We got the man advantage. We are aces and eights. Thank you to Wes Briscoe for getting the ball rolling, the momentum now, tonight at lockdown here in Texas. I understand your point, though, Mike. I wasn't done with my point. All right, the momentum's in, momentum's in our favor. They finally came up for air. We yeah. thought you were. You're right, they earned that advantage, winning that best of three series. But Mike, the first two men in this matchup, Anderson and whoever comes out here for Team TNA, they're gonna be in this thing for the long haul, and they might be susceptible. Once all men are in there, that's the only time a match, the match can come to an end. Thank you, Todd understands oh. exactly what I was saying. Oh, okay. Wish the other member of the broadcast team would get on board with that. You mean the successful, credible member? That would be the voice of Aces and Aces, yours truly. <laughs> That'd be me, Pat. And his opponent, representing Team TNA, Madness! I like that logo he's got. It reminds me of like, uh, looks like a Marvel Comics type thing going on there. Like a cartoon character, Madness. <laughs> a victory logo. Might be shades of things to come for Team TNA. Talk about strategy, Mike. Your thoughts on this choice? I'm intrigued. Absolutely by the fact that Team TNA in general, and in particular the team captain Sting, decides to go with Magnus in the leadoff spot. Great athlete, might have the conditioning to endure, endure what will be just a hellacious war. These yeah. first two, they're going to battle for three minutes, Mike, before it'll be a member of Aces and Aces. You talk about Taz, you've got the advantage coming up. That's right, all guys, Aces and Aces have the advantage, so... What Anderson needs to do is just keep rocking him. And it begins in his mouth. Please in, don't interrupt me, Mike. In Please stop interrupting me. High profile, high stakes situations. This has to be a career top for Magnus. Anderson, two time world heavyweight champion. But for Team TNA to look at someone like Magnus, have the confidence to send him out here in the leadoff spot, I think it's huge for Magnus and his career going oh, forward. Confidence? Yeah. This was the same guy that they doubted. On Thursday night, meaning Magnus, that he, that he was the, you know, that he might be in bed with us. Well, you were the one that was really painting that picture. Oh, he's got to Yeah, right. Yeah. And he stepped up and helped his team get a victory in one of those, you know, series matchups. Not enough to get the job done overall. But, and he obviously has a bone to pick, a big one at that, with Aces and Eights after being put on the shelf for months. So he's got revenge on his mind. Gonna take it out now, flying knee there by Magnus. There's, there's no doubt that Magnus is a tremendous competitor. He's in amazing condition. He's a big, strong, rugged, young athlete. And, and, and look, hey, he's super talented, I agree. But he's no match for someone like, well, like Anderson, except for that move right there. Otherwise, he's no match. Nice clothesline there by Magnus. And Mike, it is so important for him to maintain the advantage. Huge. Because a member of Aces and Eights will be coming out here in mere moments, and it will be two on one oh. for two minutes' time. Into the cage, there goes Magnus. That's when the absolute face of this wow. match changes. Countdown clock on your screen shows that we are approaching the one minute mark before the next member of Aces and Eights comes out. And at that time, for that next two minute period, they are going to have a huge advantage. It's two on one, then three on two, four on three, five on four. It's what they earned Thursday night on Impact Wrestling. And it's how you can really beat down the opposition. It's gonna be a complete, it's party time. It's just a complete party to sit here during this lethal lockdown match, watch our boys and aces and eights have the advantage, completely guzzle up the TNA team, or Team TNA, whatever Sting called it. How long did that take for the marketing team to come up with that? Team TNA. Ooh, two minutes, one minute, how long? As they're representing the company. Oh, thanks. This band of Yeah, thank thugs. you, Captain Obvious. Got yeah. it. Well, then, why pose the question? Because I felt like it. Body bag, Todd. Body bag. Not watch looking yourself. good. Hold on. 
Mike check attempt. There we go. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? They even keep me in suspense. <laughs> These guys are so funny. See who? Catchy tune, right, today? <laughs> so you didn't have anything to do oh. when it comes to choosing who's next. The next competitor, Nux! Nux, baby! Big, bad Nux. I had nothing to do with it, Mike. I've been out here carrying you and Todd. Catchy tune grows on you like a cancer. Here comes the Nux, hell? and this is a guy that can do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to just kick some rear end here, too. I uh, like Magnus' chances. One iota with Anderson, is, and now Nux. This is where it gets dangerous for Team TNA. This is where Aces and Eights can do exactly what they've done ever since they burst onto the scene here in TNA and Impact Wrestling, and that's use the numbers game to their advantage. That's why getting this advantage throughout the Lethal Lockdown match fits right into their game plan. Oh, the leverage there by Nux. He's a real powerhouse. He's really been one of the enforcers of the Aces and Eights. Powerhouse? My man is gigantic. Like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Massive, twisted, pissed-off dude is Nux. And remember, until we reach that point where all 10 competitors are inside the cage, it's not about a pin, not about submission, not about escaping the cage. It's all about forcing your will, beating down the opposition, and then once we finally get to all 10 men, then it's first pin or submission. Big sidewalk watch slam this, there. Watch this, oh. look at this, look at this. Yeah! A little tribute right there to our general manager. <laughs> yeah, just oh, rubbing it in the Hulkster's face. Oh, I'm, just, I'm having a blast. Aces and eights, though, they gotta have a sense of urgency here, Tess, because we're inside right. a minute now, oh, and, and then Team TNA, it'll be even Steven there for hold two on, minutes. On. Don't call me Steven, first of all. And what do you talking about sense of urgency? Beating the hell out of one guy here. We're killing this guy. We're killing Magnus. But that advantage for uh, two minutes' time is about to be gone. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Time to even the score. Time to get member number two of Team TNA out here to join Magnus. Let's find out who it's going to be. Oh, yeah. The next competitor, Samoa Joe. Yeah, I don't like this hit. This is not good. Oh, no. Let me see your war face. That's a war face. Here comes Samoa Joe. Magnus is tag team partner in the past. His tag team partner on Thursday night. And Samoa Joe is going to take it right oh. to the left. Just about kicked his head right off. Tim Burr takes the big man down, cuts down the tree. And there you Anderson, go. though, cuts him off. There you go, Anderson. You got him where you want him now. Oh, no. Watch Former out. Tag that. team champs working together here. Set time oh. by Joe. After the big boot by Magnus as they're working in tandem. Spectacular teamwork by Joe and Magnus. Okay, I'll admit it. Good move by Sting by putting Joe in the two hole. I admit it. Good job. Not gonna be enough though. See, I'm not like you guys. I I'm even. I'm even. Yeah, Mr. Right down the middle. That's right down the middle, Daddy. Always been your reputation. Just calls him like he sees him. Team Taz. There he goes. Big right hand though. The score has been evened up here, and now, and, and it's to the advantage of Team TNA, but that is only fleeting, Mike. You talked about a sense of urgency earlier for Team Aces and Eights. The sense of urgency, really, at this point, is with Team TNA, because they know going forward that the man advantage yes. is always going yes. to be with Aces and Eights. So this is the time period wow. where Team TNA really well, needs to show their best. Mike TNA, you finally made a good point tonight. Good job, kid. Two hours in, and I got one. <laughs> Oh, come on, get out of there, Anderson. Series of elbows here by the former tag team champions. Who are taking it, too. Uh, look how they're taking their time, though. Uh, look, at, look at Joe and Magnus. They're taking their time, getting cocky. See, that's the ego and attitude of these guys. That's, that's leadership. That's Sting not being a good leader. That's what that is, in my opinion. Here we go. It's time to get even now. Time to get even up. Who's it going to be now from us? What do you mean, time to get even up? Going to be even. Time to take the advantage. Well, we have the, we've won the advantage on Thursday. Come on, here we go. Who's it going to be all fired up? The next yeah. competitor, Garrett Bischoff. I keep trying to high-five my guys. They're running right by me. Oh, I don't Garrett know. Bischoff, yep, one of the young guns of Aces and Eights. Come on, Garrett, goes yeah. right yeah. after Magnus. Garrett, man, he's like a puma in there. He's like, look, at just attacks quick. Goes to the next guy. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, just like West Briscoe, another one of the turncoats. Look, 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 Garrett Bischoff just beating down Magnus. Look at this. Huge advantage because as he comes in, it's not only the numbers game, it's the fresh man coming into the cage. Absolutely. And again, aces and eights. 
you hear the great crowd here in the Alamo Dome oh, that's telling right. Garrett what they think of his abilities. Oh, man, how do you know they're talking about Garrett? They might be talking about Magnus. Well, Joe, how do you know? You don't know. Good point. Exactly. Oh, oh, shot there no. by Joe. Bowing it up now is Magnus. Big boot. No. Joe has been lethal. Oh, what a knee strike. In spite of the numbers edge for aces and eights, Magnus and Joe turn it around. Yeah, I'm a little surprised or, or perplexed at seeing what's going on here. This is not the way this is supposed to go down. Momentum now, amazingly, in the side of Team TNA, kind of scoring a shorthanded goal here. Mike, we can use the hockey reference. What is this? What are they like a two on the... They call some, Joe told uh, Magnus that they pulled some move here. What the hell is this? Powerful corner clothesline by Joe. Motions to Magnus. They've got something in mind. Oh, he got caught by Anderson. Yes. Anderson just ran him down there, and now a long way down for Magnus. Gets slammed off the top, and the numbers game becomes Nux. a factor give again. Nux, give Nux some credit. Give him some love. His name is Nux. Yeah, Nux. <laughs> Bunch of stooges, that's for sure. Yeah, there's only one stooge at this desk, my friend. Momentum is about to switch, guys, because things are about to be evened up. Three on three in three seconds. Your next competitor, Eric Young! Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. The pants come down, the gloves come off, and here comes Showtime. The guy runs out here in his underwear, takes his time while his friends get their asses kicked. Not taking any time now. Yeah, he's, he's wearing his bloomers. What the hell is he wearing? He's a maniac. This is an intense, this is a serious Showtime Eric Young, and he's got to be in the cage. Scoop and a slam, man, Eric Young. He is on fire here like a man possessed. Look at him go. And we are seeing exactly why Team Captain Sting assigned Showtime Eric Young to Team TNA in Lethal Lockdown. Well, Eric Young, is he's, he's got something wrong. There's obviously several screws loose in his brain. Okay, he's probably not even medically cleared to compete because he's nuts. So that makes him dangerous. Another guy that was three plus months on the sideline. Yep, taken out. His ankle absolutely shattered. Well, you know, you get in the way of the machine known as aces and eights. Sometimes you get put out. You know, Eric Young, kind of a dark horse at Team TNA. Kurt Angle himself even kind of questioned the stinger about it. But who better to represent this company? Someone who's been here for so long. He bleeds TNA. Hopefully, hopefully, he start, hope, no, <laughs> hopefully he does. Hopefully he starts bleeding in this match. I'm not bloodthirsty or anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> Quick flurry of offense from the second that Showtime Eric Young hit the cage. Ever yeah. since then, things uh, have definitely evened uh, out. He ran into Garrett Bischoff. That's Garrett Bischoff using his face like a piece of cheese on a cheese grater. Oh, but Joe. Oh, no. Over on the other side, all over him. Oh, here now, we go. Here we already. Go. Time to get busy, baby. Come on, who's it going to be? <laughs> Song just makes me want to dance. Yeah, Sergeant. Next Sergeant competitor, Devon. Tangent. A really experienced member of Aces and Eights could be a huge difference maker. In this matchup at this point, Taz. Oh, my brother, testify. Devon's about to get busy. You can just tell. TV champion about to head in the cage. Team TNA doing great up to this point. Let's see if they can fight back against the numbers. Well, all good things must come to an end. Just now, Ooh. it will just be a complete, complete beatdown of Team TNA. Numbers advantage. Back to the Aces and Eights. An advance that they earned this past Thursday on Impact. And as you also touched on, the fresh man becomes such a factor in this lethal lockdown it's match. Huge. Not only the numbers, but you're right. It's a revitalized oh. and refreshed Devon who gets dropped by Eric Young, but then Garrett Bischoff from behind. So that's how, how we protect each other. Notice how Garrett saw Devon was in, in, in dire straits for a moment because of Eric Young's attack. We watch each other's back, and that was a nice attack from behind by Samoa Joe. Taking a page out of their playback. Look at these open hand strikes by Joe. Oh, my goodness. But Magnus hit hard and heavy into the steel. By Nux. You don't like saying Nux's name, do you? 
I'm going to poke him into the cage. I, I will tell him. I do not oh, you want, want any problems with Knox. He doesn't like pronouns, Todd. No, I'm not a big fan of the pronouns. <laughs> Never was. <laughs> Devon with the big right hands. Yeah. And he's very much at home Who's in this he? kind of environment. Devon, oh, the you. sergeant at arms. Yes, my man, my brother. Uh-oh, wait, got 10 seconds here, and then... And then? Well... <laughs> finish your thought? No, I'm not finishing my thought. Sorry. About I hate Dan this guy. Luck. The next competitor, Gene Storm! Oh, yeah, the cowboy, Gene Storm! He's probably drunk. You almost have to be to have some liquid courage to go in to a war zone like this. We never met a fight he didn't like. Never met a beer he didn't like. That breaker on to Anderson now all over. Garrett Bischoff just firing up on him. Yeah, you don't want Storm to stop, you know, connecting moves together. There's no doubt about it. Finn Storm, definitely a deadly competitor. But, oh. Closing time on Nux. Come on, Nux. Say his name yeah, there. Yeah, he just yeah, it. yeah, yeah, you're a wise guy. Come on, Nux. You're going to block that. You can't let him do that closing time. Oh! Last call. God. And if there were pinfalls at this point in the Mike's match, Mike, this thing might be over, but not the case. If. If. You know what I said about if a couple of weeks ago, right? About my aunt and my uncle? Ugh. Yeah. Well, let me say it again. Crickets. Okay. I recall that, yep, in England. That was a good one. Anderson so brutal as well. Oh, Ewan oh. sending Devon. What position down here at ringside? You're gonna really appreciate the physicality of the competitors here in the lethal lockdown yeah. match. It's funny you say that while Team TNA is beating the hell out of Aces and Aces. It's nice that you say it there, Mr. Bias. I'm Thank Mr. You. Bias? Yes, After you're everything Bias. we put up with you for the past month plus? I'm a team player. Okay, I'm a team player. Yeah, if the team is Aces and Aces. Well, that's the team I'm on, pot, yes. Pot meat kettle. Yeah, and we wear black. Oh. Nice elbow there by Magnus, center of the ring. Okay, okay. Yes, count that. Five, four, come on, come on, come on. I know who it is. I know, I just got a text. I know who it is. Who else could it be? Those are we all the same song for continuity purposes. The next competitor, Doc! Big Doc! Big Doc! The director of chaos. One of my Here's closest me. friends. One of my closest friends, by the way. So instrumental. we got a Doc. In many of the brutal attacks by Aces and Aces. Left you high and dry, all five of them, didn't they? Begging for a high five by one of my boys. All right, they've got their game faces on, that's for sure. Doc is an absolute beast. He is Look just laying Look, them out. He can do, listen, Doc can do whatever the hell he wants right now to Team TNA, along with his brothers at arms. The rest of the Aces and Aces in this match. With the size of Doc, especially considering who he's in this cage with. So many big individuals, but to see someone like Doc show the power and the size off the slam, Nux drops the elbow. Look at this, look. Nux and Doc, like two big redwoods falling on you. They are absolutely eating Magnus alive in there right now. And Aces and Aces standing tall. At one man advantage, they are dominant right now. Yeah, buddy, that's how we roll. A little celebration time. <laughs> ah, boom! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be fair out here. Sorry to laugh in your face. Oh, look at those body shots. You can just hear them. This is your opportunity to gloat, Taz, because you've got this five on four. Things are about to get even and down. We earned but it. until that point, you earned the edge. Exploit it. You're just about 10 seconds away, and the countdown clock shows 10. Now we go under 10. Let's even it up. Oh, it's nice you're getting that fired up, Mike, but yes, we did earn it. We did earn that man advantage. So proud of the guys. Oh, no! And the last competitor, Yakon Sting! What the hell is with the weapons? Yeah. What do you mean, what's with the weapons? Just leave the lockdown. Why is he carrying weapons? He 
Weapons are carrying weapons out here. Weapons come into play. I know that. The ten men are in the cage, and now we turn them loose. Absolutely anything goes in there, and now is when this match. Oh, and, oh my God, look at Sting go. He's got an equalizer. Who's afraid of the big black bat? All ten men in the cage. That means bottom line. Next pin. Next submission. Wins the match for either Team TNA or Team Aces and Eights. And Sting gonna bring Crash Can One floating. Turn it over to Joe. Okay, but we need somebody's weapons. Our guys need to grab somebody's weapons. Stinger was the last oh, member. And everybody oh, come the back to break loose. Oh my God. That cookie sheet just baking up some pain. This is insane. It's, it's a bludgeoning. They're just wearing our guys out with weapons. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. Aces and eights getting the medicine that we've seen for months. All the time when aces and eights use weapons. When aces and eights use the hammers. And now they gotta pay. Somebody stop this. It can only be stopped when somebody gets the pin or submission. But right now, I don't think that's going to happen because Team TNA is having fun in there. Get some revenge. Like you said, Mike, give us a own business. Can't taste good for Aces and Aces. No, 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 no. Oh, it, it, no, it definitely doesn't taste good, and I'm not in there. We need to get our hands on some of those weapons, man. we got to level the playing field here. And these shots with these weapons is echoing off the walls of the Alamo Dome. Why does Sting get to bring the weapons down? That was an unfair advantage. That's, that's not right. That really isn't. Weapons don't come into play I'm until all well, ten men are in the cage. I'm a little disappointed in Sting's actions. I have to tell you, I am. I know him a long time. I'm very disappointed in that. Unprofessional of him. Yeah, that's right. Don't say anything. Cowboy stepping up to the plate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. It's a little grounder. No yam bag Yahtzee? Yeah, they I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be quiet today. We need help out here. We need somebody. We have a security to stop this, this attack, this assault that these TNA, uh, Team TNA is just putting on our guys. San Antonio, they're loving the icon. Have we done anything offensive here when these weapons are in play? Can we get our hands Not on a thing. something, on, on a butter knife, anything? It's been minutes. Ever since Sting brought the weapons in, it's been all Team TNA. This is a trap. Sting, trap. Joe, yeah, they, the storm, they trapped us. Oh! What a shot by Samoa Joe. Sting, gonna hand the trash can off to Joe. Take another free shot, Joe. No, oh, gonna set it up for a Stinger splash in the corner. Cannot believe Mike Tenay. The professor, a true respect, a man who respects our business, is gloating and happy over a young man like Garrett Fisher for a legacy who just got worn out with a weapon. Just I'm trying to balance your BS out here. Oh, that's nice. That's a, that's a real broadcast journalist using that language. We need to get our hands on a weapon out here. We really do. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's, let's get... You know what the hell? Just get out of the cage. Give up at this point. Okay, and Eric it. Young directing traffic, pointing something out to Sting. Well, oh, asking for the trash can if, to be put over his head. Oh, if man. Eric Young is directing traffic, then that's good for us. This would be a good way to put out your lights. All right, we're looking good here. We're lo here comes Sting again. Stinger splash. Looking good. The hell match are you watching? Well, I thought, I thought that I thought maybe he would move, but he had a can over his head. Come on! Total dominance continues just wearing out the members of Aces and Eights. That advantage you had is out the window. Oh, no. No! Oh, 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 oh. EY puts on the brakes, fortunately. Oh! Well, you let the guy with the smallest brain do the thinking. That's the problem. That was a close one. And now, Taz, you're getting your way because Aces and Eights are getting their hands on those equalizers now. Oh, it's payback time, my friend. Almost as if in mass, right before our eyes, you can just sense that huge momentum swing because the weapons are now the property of, of Aces and H. It's playtime, boys. When you got weapons, you're in our wheelhouse, son. Oh, man. <laughs> Devon just measured him. Oh. That sounded like a cannon. 
Uh, Alamo. Eh, maybe it didn't hurt anyone that much. He's got a massive head. Looks like he's got a football helmet on with skin over it. Devon, he's uh, swung his fair share of weapons in his day, hasn't he, Taz? Yeah, he's pretty good at it. That's why he's the sergeant at arms. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, yeah it was all funny games, right? Everybody was cheering and loving it when our guys were getting worn out. How about now? Uh-oh, look out here. Doc Scott, EY. Big choke slam. The Cowboys got oh, his hands back on the Stop him, man. stop him. Oh, stop Storm. Someone's going to, what the hell is that? Magnus. What a, what a tremendous power move by Magnus on Doc. I don't even know where he got that from. Magnus has been in the street from the very beginning. Got a showdown. Got a showdown here. Garrett Bischoff with the baseball bat. Comes face to face with Storm and Magnus. And Garrett taking the coward's way out. Yeah, he's like he's trying to surrender. No, 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 no. No, he was outnumbered. Can't play Garrett. He was outnumbered. Oh, 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 oh. Save him. Save him, guys. This is bad. This is dangerous. Oh. Got, whoa, whoa. What the hell is going on here? Oh, Garrett Bischoff hung upside down. Anderson underneath. Garrett, no. Oh my God! Oh, Wait, Joe's got a submission on. What the hell is this? You're so old, Mr. Moses. Don't tap. Don't tap, Don't tap. Oh. Yeah. Just on the verge of victory. Now with, with a big save there. Yes. Wow, Joe had him dead to rights. Nail Sting, nail him already. He's the reason why this is happening. Put Sting out. Nux swinging the steel. Oh, blindsided by EY. Nux, Nux don't take oh, shot. Scorpion dead drop by the icon. EY came out big there. Wait a minute. Sting came face to face with Showtime Eric Young. Motion for Eric to go to the corner. Sting hit the dead drop. Get out of the way. Knox, get out of the way. Sticks it. What? Top rope's not good enough. No, no. Him. He's telling Eric to Top climb out. Top rope's not good enough. He's telling the coward's way out. He's telling him to climb oh out. Oh, my God. Showtime. No. Eric Young. No. Top of the steel cane. No. no. He's got to be a little bit crazy to do this. Sure you can't, Mr. TNA. I'm sure you can't, TNA. You're pissing me off. 